Hello everyone, in today's video we will be solving one of the previous year question of the UPSC CSC exam. So here is the question, if a particle of mass m is in a central force field, so we are given the central force field, then we have to show that the path must be a plane curve. So the motion is in a plane. So central force field. Here we are going to denote this with F R and this R gap. This, this means the central force depends on radial distance R. So the two properties motion is in plane. So we will prove this first property. Second property is the angular momentum is conserved. So these two important properties we should know. Let's start with the first property. So which is asked in this question also. So we are given with the central force as F R. This is a magnitude and this is the direction so let's do the cross product this is the center this is the mass m so f r r cap and this is the position vector so we are going to do the cross product r with f r so we can write this F R in terms of magnitude and its direction. This R cross R cap. This will be zero because the theta will be zero. The so sine zero is zero. So this. So we get this condition F R R is zero, and we know that F R can be written as m dv by dt so let's substitute this fr so this is equation number one this is equation number two so using the equation number two in one so we know that r f r is zero and we can write this f r as m dv by dt so it's r dv by dt equal to 0 so we can write this as because m can't be 0 so this r this cross product will be equal to 0 also we can write this above expression in as d by dt r cross v equal to 0 so so i will do this how can we write this so if we differentiate this r with v so differentiating this dr by dt cross v plus r as it is and then dv by dt so this is v so v cross v will again will be zero so we get this term so we can equate, we can rewrite this in R cross dv by dt as dt by d. So whole of definition of R cross V. So, so we are having this expression of d by dt cross R. So if a total differentiation is zero, that means the inner term that is R cross V is constant. Let's say this constant to be P. So the P is the constant vector. So that means our vector P does not depend on time. And also we got to know that the P is perpendicular. to the plane 
comprising of r there's a position vector and the v velocity vector so this is the proof and if you want to prove all l is conserved we got this expression this del by dt r cross v equal to 0 so we know that this r cross v is constant constant vector that is independent of time so we know that angular momentum is r cross mv we just have to multiply this so we can write this mv m r cross v this is mp so this is constant this is constant so this whole l is constant so that means l is conserved so this is for today's session and thank you for watching this video if you like this video please like share subscribe to my channel